Huh? Now, I identified you last night in the promo as a loving father, and I don't want to get into your personal life because that belongs to you, but you and you and your wife have, have ex put together, ex-wife, have put together a, a, to my way of thinking, unique arrangement in terms of, of protecting the continuity of your children's life and where they live in one house. What What is that and how does that work? Well, the way that works is, uh, personally, when I get involved in something, if I can't sink my teeth right into it, I'll wait until I can or I'll just avoid it. And when I was uh, in my career working as hard as I did and I became uh, Joe Go American, fell in love and experienced those emotions, mm -hmm. I dedicated myself to my uh, husbandry, uh, I guess that's what you call it. And uh, then when I decided to have children with my wife, uh, we dedicated ourselves to our uh, parental responsibilities. And uh, when your offspring is born, something happens to you, man. It, phew, it's, it's intense, you know. And my paternal responsibilities were solidified, and nothing, not a power on earth, certainly not a court or a man on earth, could deny me my basic paternal responsibilities and inclinations and desires to uh, live out and apply my love for my children. You know, I know this don't sound guys over this. No, it but to continue yeah, parenting your children. Yeah, okay. yeah. And, the, and the typical Go America situation is where they uh, uh, castrate the basic approaches of a father is uh, they turn him into a visitor of their children. And I said, tisk tisk. I said, not me. I'm not a visitor. I'm dad. You know, I'm going to be there when they cry. I'm going to be there when they laugh. I'm going to be there when they have questions, when they have answers. And everything in ad infinitum. And so we went to court and we uh, battled it out. And uh, we set up an arrangement that uh, set precedences in the uh, American divorce situation where the children maintain residency in a single, at the farm back in Michigan. And uh, if uh, Mama and I can't work it out, then we'd be the ones who have to carry the burden of rotation. The children must have their consistency of environment. So they, they are able to say home. And home means all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. And how, how does that work out? Okay. okay. Perfect. So it's perfect. I got my cake and I'm eating it too because I get to be with my kids for a whole month at a time. That means day and night taking them to school. I'm a room father every Wednesday. And uh, I take the brownies out and stuff like that. And I, I just wouldn't deny myself that. I really thank you for being here tonight and for showing us this little serious side of yourself. And by the way, you've appeared not only on this show tonight, but the NBC Nightly News tapes right next door. And I have the feeling that some of what you did may have leaked through and possibly Got gotten, in the way, yeah, gotten in the way of the nation's economic indicators, which uh, for our sound here, motivated. Uh, exactly. And uh, Ted Nugent and company will be back a little bit later on in our show. And thank you so much for being with us tonight. Don't mention it. Okay, so. people who made tonight's program possible, our cast, our crew here, and especially Mr. Ted Nugent and company who are playing us off tonight. You have a super weekend. Thanks for watching. And from New York City, good night, everybody. Here again is Mr. Ted Nugent. <laughs>